Well, can you teach an old HP new tricks? I don't know. All right, so this, this kind of started a couple weeks ago or a week and a half ago or so with the uh, notebook that I had, the ultra thin notebook that had two cores and two threads. And I was doing some testing, as many of you may have know, or some of you may know. And I was trying to run games, uh, modern games, to see how they would run. It was inspired by yet another video on another channel. So I was trying to run Cyberpunk 2077 to the tune of about two frames per second. And uh, I, was, I wasn't disappointed because it is what it is, but... I was also running a couple other benchmarks like Cinebench, and I realized the 588 for Cinebench was somewhere in the neighborhood of another HP I had tested from a while back. Now, this HP that I was talking about was getting between like 608 and 623 as a score, and it was a quad two core duo. So it was a Q6600 that is actually uh, running uh, well, on DDR2 memory, it's from 2008, not really that fast. When I got the computer, it needed quite a bit of cleanup, so I called it IL-3. And I uh, had originally had a Core 2 uh, processor in it, just two Core 2 thread. It had 4 gig of DDR2 memory, and it really needed a little bit of help. So I dropped an SSD, we put 8 gig of memory in it, maxed out at 800 megahertz. I went ahead and put the Q6600 that I got on eBay, and then I saw a trick on the internet. A good overclock yeah so um and oddly enough not in the bios because hp's bios isn't very helpful and i think a lot of us know that but um or maybe you don't and you're finding that out now surprise um hp's bios isn't very helpful just in case you didn't know from a few moments ago anyway so i i was able to go through and find out that using some tape on one of the contacts i was able to boost the speed the operating speed of the CPU from 2.3 gigahertz up to 3 gigahertz. Now in 2008, when this came out, 2008, 2009, this was a big deal, especially if you could max out the speed on the DDR2 memory. Uh, not, not bad at all. And it showed because I was able to go ahead and run a, a you know, half a dozen games, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, CSGO, and a few others, and get console type numbers, N not recent console, but like PS4, Xbox One type numbers, 30 frames per second. It looked okay. It, uh, it did take a little bit of time to load, um, but the SSD did help a little bit with that, putting that in there. So we were able to get a little bit out of this HP A6512P, which is the model name on it. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty good computer at that time, and it did pretty well. It was a Core 2 Duo, which means they actually kind of slapped two two-core processors together, and they worked in tandem. It was before the i3s, i5s, i7s, and all that stuff. So it was, I'm not going to say ahead of its time, but it was pretty good technology. And it kind of, uh, that's when AMD and Intel really were kind of fighting against each other. And not to say they aren't now, but I mean, for a while, you know, uh, Intel was, was stomping the curb with AMD. But this was a time when they were in a kind of a dogfight with each other. In any case, this, this ended up being a pretty decent computer for its time. And after I did the refurb and cleanup and all that stuff, it did okay. I, I was testing out with a, a 1650 Super in it, and it did moderately well. Like I said, console type numbers. Uh, currently, it's got a GT 1030 in it. Uh, not the best, uh, not the best GPU, but then again, it's about what that 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 computer probably deserves. It's not that fastest computer and it does do some, you know, maybe a little bit of light gaming or light productivity. It's not going to set the world on fire by any means. But I thought, you know what, maybe with the graphics card offsetting uh, the limitations of that Core 2 that's in the HP Ultra Thin, maybe I could run some of these titles. Maybe I could do a little bit better. The key thing is, I thought, and I should not go out of the house thinking because it's probably not safe to do, but in this case, I went ahead and I tried. And we loaded up Cyberpunk 2077. And no. So I thought, okay, maybe it's just because sometimes I have trouble trying to load it on this machine, my editing rig, which I know will handle it. Uh, so I thought, okay, we'll just try another game like Forza Horizon 5. 
N no. Uh, as it turns out, the instruction set on that CPU was just not not built to handle modern titles. There's things in the model, modern titles and the way they're written that old that old CPU just can't handle, and that's okay. It can handle some older titles a little bit better, and if you're you're playing some of those. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Borderlands 3, and all that stuff, it's going to be okay. Uh, it's not going to be a great experience, but it's going to be okay. And if you cut the, res the resolution down a little bit more uh, and manage your expectations, you know, it's, a, like I said, a, a console-worthy type experience. But I thought, okay, maybe it's a limitation of the 1030 that's in there. And I swapped it out with an RX 480, the one I got back a couple of months ago and, and been able to test and do some other stuff with. And, and I know for a fact that it plays games pretty well. It does very, very well. It's got 8 gig of VRAM on it, and it's a, it's a good a good GPU. Uh, no. Yeah, it, it still wouldn't load the newer titles. It, it's just, it can't keep up. The uh, That older CPU is just not built for these newer titles, and that will happen. I mean, that's you think about the stuff that's in production now, there's going to be games coming out 15 years from now that these, game, these CPUs, these GPUs, are probably going to struggle trying to run. It's just, it's just technology. It's the way things happen. So uh, am I upset? No, because this thing has been a fun project to work on. It has done everything I've asked it to so far. It just couldn't quite manage the other titles. Uh, by putting that RX 480 in there, I thought, okay, maybe I can run some of those older titles faster and better, and we can increase some of that speed and maybe have a better than, than console type experience. But can you guess what I'm going to say? <laughs> No. <laughs> now it does it does run faster. I will give it that. It does I can get more frames per second out of it. But the problem is the CPU cannot give information to the GPU fast enough. So the the brains of the operation cannot tell the hands to move fast enough to be able to do what it's supposed to do. And in some cases we're missing a lot of textures and in some cases we're missing people out of the scene. There's no people. Uh, so uh, it's a limitation there. Even though it will, will run faster, it's not necessarily smoother, and there's a lot of things missing. Uh, so was it worth doing? Of course. I mean, I got to make a video out of it, and you guys get to know, and you don't have to try it yourself because somebody like me already did. But in any case, I was able to have some fun. It is, it's, it's a great computer for what it is, and it's going to be fine doing day-to-day -day tasks and everyday stuff, web browsing, maybe some, uh, you, maybe some browser-type games, uh, stuff that you can play online or whatever maybe those types of games are fine um, you know you just got to kind of manage your expectations with this it's gonna it's gonna work for what it was intended to do and not much else <laughs> no, not anything newer but in any case it was fun to play with and it was fun to figure out and we're just gonna keep on going because I know I've got other things that need to be tested and done and, and taken care of one of the things that I was looking forward to, and I don't know what my schedule for the rest of the week is going to be, because I've been trying to test uh, one of the notebooks that I had, uh, the two-in-one that was a yoga. Uh, it needed the USB charger, uh, and unfortunately, that's DOA. I, I did get the charger. I plugged it in, tried. I even you know took a took a look at it and took off the back and all that stuff. It does have a 128 gig SSD, which is cool. I might end up using that somewhere else because. Uh, this poor little yoga is, uh, this Lenovo yoga is dead. So uh, I, I don't know if I'll get back to that, but it does kind of set things, my schedule a little bit off because I was really planning on being able to do a video on that and it didn't quite work out. It is Thanksgiving also, so we'll see how things fall. I'm trying to get two videos a week out. Don't know what's going to happen this week, but hopefully I'll be able to get out something this weekend. And we'll just have to see what happens. Anyway, with that being said, uh, you know, I whatever's coming up next don't forget to subscribe and like and do all those youtube things go visit me on you know uh, buymeacoffee.com read my blog that allegedly has nothing to do with tech although every once in a while we'll have a splash of it in there um my website thatpaulguy.tech i'm trying to get off the ground and running it will have uh when i do a review where i do things and i talk about uh the products on videos not only what i put it in the description of the video but i will also go ahead and put it on the website and uh, that is, those are going to be Amazon links, so they will help the channel out without costing you any money. So everything, you know, everything is beautiful. No, I'm not going to karaoke and I'm not going to sing. That does remind me, though, that this is the type of season where if you don't do anything else, like clicking on anything or liking or anything, just be nice to each other. It's uh, getting the holiday season, Thanksgiving or Christmas and, and whatever you might celebrate around then. 
New Year's, all that good stuff. It's a time for we should all be kind of looking out for each other and being nice to each other, and I hope you do. And I hope somebody's nice to you and it makes you feel better too. So with that being said, uh, until I get around to tearing something else up, which it's a good bet I will, I'm, I'm, that's going to do it for me. So I'll see you later.